Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Um, I had forgotten to do a Temu haul the last, I, I think that I forgot, yeah I know I did, I didn't do a Temu haul on, what, on all this stuff I got. So um, since I'm in the mood for crafting and decorating today I wanted to show you these new sponges and I don't know how they're going to work. But this one's called a mushroom, appropriately named. And this is a, they call it underwater snowflake is what they called it. And then there was one, something underwater. I don't know. They're, I agree with Melissa Sue. Sometimes their take on the English language doesn't quite translate. So you get some odd uh, descriptions. So anyhow, I'm going to see, using this new stencil, how well it works. So let's go with, I don't even know, I think this is ground espresso. At least, oh, and I, found, I, I couldn't find my walnut stain. So I said screw it. And I just got, um, I don't even know if I picked up any. Yeah, look at this. So if you're doing, yeah, this works good, guys. You just got to kind of rock it back and forth. Ta-da, it picks up nice. All right, so I like that. And then I'll have to remember this was, but what I like about these is you can wash them. You can totally go into the kitchen sink and wash them. Where with, and you can wash the brushes too. But with the stamp pads, it's not really that easy. So now let me find a regular sheet of paper. Just something that I can I can uh, do that with. Well, I can't tell if I'm seeing things or, or if it really picked it up. Oh yeah. That works. Ouch. I got this pain when I moved my neck, guys. Craziness. Alright, so that works. That one works good. And then, and the, now you've seen the snowflake stencil. And then I put this with my stencils. If you guys are, I'm going to show you what I've gotten done when I, when I'm finished. Okay, so this was a um, washi tape, but it's bronze. I think they called it. It was bronze. I'm pretty sure they called it bronze. They call it. Broken leaves, but I think it's called I think it's called bronzing tape. And this is called broken leaves. Let's see how this looks. I got it covered with a piece of like medical tape. Huh. I don't know if this is a sticker. Well, we're just going to cut a piece off and find out. I'm pretty sure I just ran across my first Temu oopsie, like, do not order. I hope I didn't order any more of this stuff. I suppose you could sew it. If it's not a sticker, you could sew it. No, I don't think it's a sticker. Nope, it is not a sticker, but, 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 let me see. Let me see something here. And this is just for, you know, what's in giggles. Let's see. That one's a good one. It's not a good one. Okay. So apparently that would be how you'd have to do it with the, the double-sided tape because it is not a sticker. Huh. I'll have to go back and look at that before I order it again. Broken leaves. 
but then yeah but you can do the the clear tape the double-sided tape that would work um, yeah I guess or you could sew it I'm thinking you could sew it into and then also 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 what I think this might work on and I have a million of them whatever one when you want it this stuff I think it might work on here let's go do like this Let's do something crazy just because I can be crazy. It's hard to see, but I think this might work. I wasn't supposed to do that then you can just cut the edge trim up that edge or just leave it there because when you go around you're gonna cover that up anyhow so that might work I mean I bought it I'm gonna use it I don't want to put it away in my stash of stuff that I haven't seen or touched in seven years and I bet you there is I bet you there's stuff in my closet that I haven't touched for seven years all right so there was that and then another one of those makeup sponges oh, I'm not sure how the tape goes on this one. Oh, there it is some people hate that crinkle I love it so this is just another um, sponge to go with my millions of sponges and this is really soft so I don't think that's going to work however brushing like um, embossing powder away maybe might work okay there's that and then I got this stuff and this is burlap and this is just to go on the edge of my pages that's it just to, just to embellish like that stuff like that not necessarily that but stuff like that that's what that's for and I have pounds of this but I love it in every style and it's highly unlikely I'm gonna stop buying it I have a big wide one too I don't know if I showed it to you guys but when we come across it then when we come across it I will say oh I don't know if I bothered to show you guys but that was what I got on Tim you okay there's that and then I got these because I have all that trim all that lace these are just jewelry findings and then I thought I'll put them on the edge and then hang charms from them whoops guys sorry I got all kinds of craziness going on over here I set the basket on it so that's just jewelry findings and that's what I'm gonna do with those is put them on ribbons bookmarks etc and then I got the green butterflies clear stickers and that I'll probably put in here I mean because they're really cute I don't know how many came in here this is color F decorative stickers yeah doesn't say but there's a crap ton of them and now I've shown you that and let's see how easy are these to to peel so you got to be able to use them I mean if they're not easy and this one does not appear to be easy well yikes guys the only way I know to do it is to peel it like that huh 
Okay. Who out there among you has a tip for peeling difficult stickers? Because this one is not peeling. Wow. Oh, I got it. Look at that. I finally got it. That was difficult, let me tell you. So I think I'll put this little guy going up the page there. Yeah, I don't mind the clear stickers. They're not so bad, but I do not like the ones with the white around the edge. All right, that was the butterflies. Okay, so some coolness coming up. Some really neat stuff coming up here, guys. Okay, these were... What were these? These are just pieces of paper. But I thought they would make great journaling cards. You know, to glue them to the to you know glue them to the front of a card and then embellish them. So that was those. And this was like a dollar, dollar eighteen, maybe a dollar something, dollar something. It doesn't say. I got those. I'm saving the cool stuff for last. Wait till you see these guys. They were perfect. Well, perfect for me. Okay, and then I got these. Oops. And these are like just little tags. Little different kinds of smaller type tags. So that when we have those little pockets, you know, we can stuff these in there. Like, um, let's see. Like I showed you when I showed you this guy. So just little tiny stuff to stick in there. That's really stuck. Oh, it's a second pocket. Oh, there we go. See, like that. I thought that was a second pocket. I guess it's not. So anyhow. Like that. Not that I would put them in this one, but like that. See? And now we have little ones. And I got two different two different boxes. And then I love the little boxes. I love the little boxes that they came in. And then they slide in here. And then when I'm done with them, guess what I'm going to do? Yep, mini, mini, a mini journal. Two of them. Two mini journals. Let me push this back in here, or I will lose it. And I don't want to lose it because we're going to be making those. Okay, next up is that second box. This one was Leaves of Grace, and this one is mu Museum Piece. And it's pretty. It's like shades of gray, but vintage. See? Vintage. And for the price, I can't make these, you know? There's no way I can make them that, that inexpensive. I think there's a hundred of those. And I'm keeping my eye out for stuff like this now, guys, because when you go to stuff like journal, you can stuff them pretty quick. Okay, this one was fun. Postcards. Yep, postcards. Something all over that. And so these, I'm just going to stick. I may round the corners. But look. Tell me this isn't so fantastic. Look at that. Star upon star. Um, Faxi Fraga Umbrosa L. Don't know what that means, but look at that. Isn't this beautiful? So even in something like this, that's going to go good. Like this. Bingo! I put something a little more colorful in there. But you got the idea. And I love them. 
So I think there were 50 of these. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There were 30 of them for less than $2. I'm telling you, it's perfect. And then look, another journal, another mini. I'm learning, guys. I'm picking it up. I'm getting it done. Okay, and then next up... Was another die cut square. This is a snowflake. So this I'm not even going to bother with until Christmas. And I was telling one of my friends, I was like, man, you know what? I'll start Christmas in July and be ready to go by Christmas. And then in Christmas I start my spring. So I'm, I give myself enough time to be ready. Okay, so this is a six by six paper pack. You get 12 sheets and it was a buck 69. And this is the... Um, tropical rainforest design. And that one's super bright, but it's it's nice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew these. Like that one's really pretty. That one's really pretty. That one's really pretty. That one's nice. Polka dots. Uh, that one's really pretty. Look. It's got those birds on it. I suppose it's probably a rainforest bird. And then we have that one. That one. Ooh, look at the jaguars. Or cheetahs. I think they're cheetahs. And then off, I don't remember. Jaguars. Jaguars have the spots. And then there's a nice plaid one. And then there's the cover. So these I have determined I'm going to coordinate with journals that I'm making. Um, fall journals, spring journals, corner pockets. See, that would be not bad. Not that I would, but not bad. I mean, just different, different stuff. So these are my coordinators. These are the ones that go with the ones that I haven't decided on yet. Okay, and then this one's music. Retro. Just as retro. All right, so it's got music. got these. Oh, and I got some stamps coming like that, too. And I could just turn it over. That one's pretty. Pretty. So these ones I'll probably make. I'll use these for collaging. It's a nice collage paper. Very nice collage paper. And then next up is, this one's called The Scent of Roses. And I'm going to use this with that um, bleds paper. After I find that bleds paper. I don't know what I did with it, y'all. But I'm going to use this with... See, this is going to be perfect. 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 Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. That's what I'm going to be using that for. And then... Oh, Violet Blooms. There it is. I just had put it in here. This is the bleds. This is the bleds paper. And see, some of this, some of this might work. Maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. Mm, no. 
but some of this may work together. I don't want to get it mixed up because every time I do the a video on it, I want to say this is the Bled's paper. Maybe not. I thought, you know, I thought that they were closer, closer together in colors, but not. Okay. All right. So that's that. That's all my goodies, guys, from that Temu haul. And like I said, I'm going to start using the 6x6 paper. When I first started junk journaling, I was like, got to have a 12x12. You got to have 12x12. You can't just, you know, have anything other than 12x12. And then I was like, now my preferred size is 85 by 11 and 6x6. And I st I'm just using up my 12 by 12 all right, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and we're going to get going here on some tutorials soon. All right, bye-bye.